This video is going to cover the difference between hot wax and sugar. At the end I'm going to tell you which one I like and the reasons why. This is hot wax. Hot beaded waxes are formulated with titanium dioxide. They're made that way to prevent redness on the skin. Hot waxes can contain rosins and resins in order to find out whether the type of wax that you choose to use as hot wax is biodegradable you'd have to go back to the manufacturer and ask. So wax is plastic that when melted to 113 degrees it turns into liquid. So waxes are actually insoluble in water but they are solvable in things like citricline or dissolve it. So hot wax generally needs to be used at a higher temperature so that it can be applied on and then cooled and then flicked off and removes the hair. So this is how hot wax goes on. Hot wax is put on with a spatula, normally in a figure eight, and it has thick edges so that the therapist can flick up the edge and it helps her remove the patch. You can see here she's testing the patch to see whether it's dry enough and you do have to wait for it to set and then you flick up an edge and that tends to be the thing that some clients don't like. Therapists that use hot wax can often use cold compresses to get the hot wax to harden to a state in order to pull off the hot wax easily. So this is what a cold compress can look like. Hot wax does set on surfaces and on the pot so you do have to clean it off with a chemical type of dissolving product. So in this case you could be using something like Dissolve It or CitraClean. You do have to wear gloves when you clean with this product because you don't want to get it onto your skin. Clients often like the idea of hot wax because they've been told that the heat of the hot wax helps open the follicle so it helps with the removal and has less pain because the follicle is more open. There are hot waxes out there these days that have um, properties that mean that the skin is less affected but in general hot wax is affecting the skin and the hair. Um, technology wise things are improving and there are major brands that are now making powdered wax like Caron and yes there are much gentler hot waxes out there now. This is sugar gel. This operates at a lower temperature and it is removed with strips. It's very different than strip waxing. Strip waxing again is still your rosins and your resins and can be a bit more stingier than even your hot wax. So this is strip sugar. This is not ball method which some people do perform. It is strip sugar. The sugar looks like this in the pot so it looks very runny, it has a very fluid consistency and it is applied on to the skin with a spatula. One of the leading commercial manufacturers of sugar gel is Faro, it's a New Zealand brand, they make it out of all natural ingredients so kiwi fruit extract, lemon, water, sugar, mica, manuka honey, their newest recent product has marine extract in it so it has power extract. As you can see here on the model it's put onto the area with the edge of a spatula. It goes on very, very thinly. That's the difference between hot wax and sugar. Hot wax goes on thickly and it just gets removed with a strip. So you can see it got rubbed down and then the hair was removed in one go. Uh, clients often say there's less skin sting with sugar. Sugar is water soluble and it just cleans up with a rag. So the cleaning part is really easy. It also means it cleans off the client as well really easy because you just use a damp rag and it's gone. Whereas with hot wax, um, and I used it for a year in a spa, so I, I can say I've definitely been a hot waxer in the past. You could often leave little bits of hot wax on people because you couldn't get it all completely off. So even you know in a shower the next day or that evening, you'd still find little bits of wax on you um, when you had a hot wax done. So sugar gel is a natural eco-friendly formulation, it's free from any harsh additives, it removes the hair from the roots for up to 6 weeks before significant regrowth is noticed. After the hair removal, cleaning up is gentle on the skin because you just use warm water. The product adheres strongly to the hair but not so much to the skin, therefore when it's pulled off it's basically signif it's significantly less discomfort for the client as compared to some forms of waxing. Resin based waxing products can adhere to both the hair and the skin. So the best way that I can describe hot wax is that 
you have it adhering to the hair in the skin so you have the hair the follicle the hair follicle that tells you it's not happy and gives you a bit of pain and then you have a skin sting as well so the skin the area in particular can be a bit tender for the rest of the day and depending on the ability of the therapist it could be tender the next day but if you have a good therapist that is a good hot waxer then you should be fine the next day the difference with the sugar is it adheres to the hair you get the hair telling you that it's not happy it's just been taken out but there is no skin sting so that's why it's like half as painful so I find it's very gentle um, for my sensitive clients so I would say from my experience from using hot wax I would have at least used half a pot of hot wax whenever I did a Brazilian opposed to at least 10 to 15 Brazilians that I can get out of a pot of sugar so at this stage I suppose it's obvious I love sugar I've been using sugar for a while I like that it's biodegradable I like that it's kind to the environment I like that it's kind to my clients skin I like that it has um, two options of types of gels um, I just really prefer it because it is an all-natural form of hair removal it's not bleaching it's not shaving it's not waxing it's not IPL that you know also affects the skin because it's laser it's not electrolysis which is one follicle dealt with at a time and it's not wax so it isn't something that's going into the environment that I am going to regret later for my kids so I really like it I really enjoy it I used hot wax as a student for a year and I used hot wax also in a spa that I worked in for a year so I've had a decent amount of exposure to hot wax to become good at hot waxing but I've always loved sugar far over the hot wax and that's just my personal opinion I'm sure there are heaps of therapists that use hot wax that will have different reasons why they like it different products that they like um, I think though that if we can use something that the the earth isn't going to run out of because in 2011 we started running out of rosins and resins um, then that's a really plus choice for us as human beings to take care of the environment and care about renewable sources so it's a sustainable product for me and I really I really like it but that's my opinion on it and if you have hot waxes and you like them let me know why and if you have sugar done and you like it let me know why I am always open to hearing people's opinions thanks for watching this I hope it was of interest to you to see what the difference was and just to reiterate the sugar strip wax is completely different than strip waxing strip waxing is very stingy much more painful and it is quite different than sugar okay bye bye